Hey, I'm William, and I wrote BPSS, a tool that lets you make a custom soundtrack for Burnout Paradise. This is a quick tutorial vid explaining how to set things up and how to use the software to create your own custom soundtrack. BPSS works for both Burnout Paradise, the Ultimate Box, and Remastered. To download BPSS, go to my GitHub page and find the releases section. Click for the latest version of the app, then find the .exe file in Assets. You'll want to place this exe in its own folder as it does create some additional files when you run it. Go ahead and do that now. This is what it looks like when you first run BPSS. Click through this, then you'll need to provide three files your installation of Burnout Paradise, an executable called SX or Sound Exchange, and a piece of software called Yap. SX and Yap are available through the README, and I'll show you how to download them really quickly. Download SX here. And download YAP through the releases tab here, similar to BPSS. YAP comes in a zip file, so it'll have to be extracted. Okay, we're good to go. Let's plug in our files. Now that BPSS is pointed to your files, click OK, and boom. Your Burnout Paradise installation has been scanned and is ready to receive edits to the soundtrack. Right away, you'll notice that some cells have colored backgrounds, and some cells appear to be grayed out and locked. Colored cells are synced, meaning that if you update that cell, all cells of the same color will be updated as well. Locked cells cannot be updated, for now that is. I'll cover more advanced topics later in the video. Let's start by changing the intro song to something new. Let's scroll down to Paradise City by Guns N' Roses and double click the cells to edit them. Finally, you can click the file icon to browse to an audio file, or simply click and drag one into the cell if you already have it open in another Windows Explorer window. Sound Exchange only supports WAV, MP3, and AAC, so that's what BPSS supports as well. Okay, everything is set. Save your custom soundtrack to a file. And now you can click Apply, and BPS will automatically make the necessary changes to Burnout Paradise's game files to get the song to play. All done. Now, in the past, this would require a good deal of manual effort, game data unpacking, hex editing, and file conversion to even get going. And the end result may result in crashes, or the song sounding strange or ending early. BPSS fixes all that by automating the hard work so you can focus on picking your favorite songs to put in the game. Check it out! The game starts by playing our new song, and the song's info has been updated to reflect. You now know the basics of how to use BPSS. To revert to the game's original soundtrack, just hit the unapply button. To reset changes made to the currently loaded file, just hit the reset button. Okay, that's it for the basics. You're good to go. Now for some more advanced topics. You may be curious why certain cells are synced or locked down. It's actually because Burnout Paradise uses the same string value in multiple places. So without any additional information, changing a string will change that string everywhere. This applies to stuff like the song title and album title in this case but also internal things like the file name of the audio, which we aren't able to change. This quirk limits the changes that we can safely make to Burnout Paradise's soundtrack, but BPSS allows you to, at some risk of crashing, disambiguate these cells to remove the restrictions. It basically lets you tell the software which string is which. To do this, open this Actions panel and select a synced or locked cell. You'll notice the disambiguate cell action appear. Watch how, once I decide which string is which, they are no longer synced, and you can edit them as you like. Disambiguation can be easily removed with the undisambiguate cell button. 
Be careful when disambiguating locked cells. They're locked because they share a string value with the stream name, and if that gets modified, then the game will crash when trying to play that song. BPSS creates a wide variety of settings and data files as part of its operation. The first you'll run into is settings.json, which just holds some basic app preferences. You'll also see this other JSON file with an eight character string as its title. This is what I call a pointers file, and it holds information about where string variables are for your installation of Burnout Paradise. Its title is generated based on the Burnout Paradise installation file path you provide to the app so that you can switch between remastered and the ultimate box without having to rescan if you have both installed. You can see what pointers file is currently in use by looking at the top right corner of your about information. Finally, you'll be creating .soundtrack files, which are just renamed JSON files that hold all of the custom data that you enter while using BPSS. In the future, you might be able to export a soundtrack zip with all the audio files you used and send it to a friend for them to import. Inside the temp folder, you'll see all the intermediate files used to modify the soundtrack. It's just converted audio files and unpacked data bins. These files are only going to be useful for troubleshooting, so you can probably ignore them. Outside of the BPSS folder, the app modifies files in your Burnout Paradise installation. Whenever it does this, it creates .old files, which are backups of the original state of your game. To revert a custom soundtrack, all BPSS does is set those .old files back to their original names. That does it for now. Thanks for showing interest in my little program. I'll continue pushing updates for as long as I have ideas. If you notice any issues with the app, please don't hesitate to reach out to me via Discord, the comments, or opening a GitHub issue. I appreciate the feedback.